If you incorporate these monster bench techniques properly, you're gonna be able to bench 20% more weight immediately. So listen up. To prep, you should first apply chalk to the upper back where it's gonna make contact with the bench. Because I'm so huge, it's tough for me to reach around to apply the chalk to my upper back. So I'm gonna need some assistance. Apply at least a six inch wide strip to the area directly between the shoulders and at shoulder height. This will greatly enhance the traction between you and the bench. You'll also want to apply chalk to all contact areas between skin and clothing to also prevent unwanted slippage. You'll need it as the pressure of such heavy weights will tend to propel you off the vinyl of the bench. A key factor to getting that 20% increase is the monster arch. Bring your feet onto the bench, unhinge your heels, and prop up onto your toes like a ballerina. You'll be arching your back with enough space for a good sized man to fit. This sets your spine in a much more rigid and stable position. Ideal bench position should be where your eyes are aligned directly under the bar as you push the weight up and off the rack. All right, now let's load her up and get ready to go. Don't forget to blast some super kick-ass high energy music to up that aggression. All right, let's do some monster bench pressing. Contrary to $10 a month fitness club philosophies, you want to incorporate loud verbal expulsions to amplify your strength to increase the upward momentum. Hey assholes, keep it down over there. Let's go. Down slow and touch the chest, slight pause, then explode up. You can try different variations of this exercise. The more variations you do, the stronger the muscles will get and the bigger they're gonna get. So you can get huge monster muscles, like me. After a few dozen reps, you'll wear down a bit. Your spotter will help you get those last crucial force reps in and help you re-rack the bar when you're completely spent. Mix it with love, put in sugar and 